This is really the way that we lock down files and ensure that no one who shouldn't have access to anything is accessing the wrong file. Every once in a while, we find a leftover person outside our company whom we previously gave access to a specific Google Drive folder. How can we check or search for all people who have access to your Google Workspace, Drive, and calendars? There is unfortunately, to my knowledge, no easy way of being able to search for all externally shared files. There is a report inside your Google Workspace admin panel, and that will show you what the number of files are that are shared externally outside your business. However, unfortunately, there's no simple way within Google Workspace itself to say, show me a list of everything that's shared with somebody external. Hey, it's Crystal from IT Genius's support team, and I want to show you how we handle this for customers. If you are on Enterprise Plus, Education Standard, and Education Plus, or Enterprise Essentials Plus license, the super admins can run an audit and see those files that were shared externally. If non-enterprise, users can scan their drive using whohasaccess.co to find out who has access to their Google Drive. Now back to Peter. My recommendation with file sharing is to actually be quite careful about what files are shared with which person. Now I have an extended video on how to set up your Google permissions correctly and how to apply those into Google Drive. And so that's a full tutorial. It's 30 minutes long, teaching you exactly how you should do your Google permissions. If you're interested in that, I'll have my team drop a link to that down below, but otherwise you can search for it on the IT Genius channel. But what I do wanna show you is how we do permissions inside IT Genius, because this is really the way that we lock down files and ensure that no one who shouldn't have access to anything is accessing the wrong file. So we obviously use shared drives and shared drives is how we keep things nicely locked down inside our business. May even switch over, I think, to my business account here probably going to make my life a little bit easier. So here I am inside my shared drives and inside my shared drives, for example, if I want to share a training drive, which has training files, I may choose in the shared drive settings to lock down who has access to any of those sub files. Oh, of course. Okay. I think that's the wrong company. <laughs> Let's go down IT genius. Here we go. Team training. Okay. So inside my shared drives, I've actually unticked this box to disallow people outside of IT Genius from accessing any files. And what that does is it just automatically locks down anything that's stored inside that folder so that anyone who's outside the company no longer has access to it. Also, you can choose whether or not you want someone who has the ability to manage content inside that folder, share it outside the company or not. So you can see here that we've also unticked for the ability for content managers to share folders. And what that means is you lock down the ability for individual folders to be shared outside of a shared drive. Now, you may think, Pete, is that like a little bit over the top, stopping people from sharing things? Don't we want to foster a collaborative environment inside our business? And the most important thing here to remember is that your role is to protect your intellectual property inside your company. And if you set up a correct organizational design when you structure your permissions and your teams and the way that you set up your different folders, well, it shouldn't actually be a hindrance to any of your team to be able to get their work done. And you should be able to strike the balance of making sure that your business data is properly protected. If you still have questions on this topic, drop them down below in the comments.